wind turbine is only as good as the location it's installed in. Okay. Uh, as, as, as is solar. As yeah. Is solar. True. Uh, true. It's, it's no different, but. With solar panels, especially if they're up on a roof or on a pole or something, generally they can be out of the way of shadow, yeah. shading, you know, that out of the way. A wind turbine, unless you've got it on a nice high pole and it's probably three, four meters above the roof line, yeah. uh, or you've got some nice open space, you've got you know, land, farms, as you know, why yeah. you see them in, in those sort of areas, um, they're more susceptible to the, the issues that you have with, with the site, sure. the micro site. Sure. Um, so you can be in the windiest place in Britain, but if you're going to install that next to a tree, it's not going to work particularly well. Because with a turbine like this, you've got the, it's an aerofoil blade, so it will go up to seven or eight times faster than the apparent wind. Mm -hmm. That's the point; it's got lift, you know. So that, that whereas a, a wind turbine that does this can only spin as fast as the wind. Sure. Can't go faster because half of it's going into the wind, uh, half it's going against the wind okay. at any one time. So it will only spin. Um, as fast uh, in a traditional style, will only spin as fast, a bit like a, a barber shop sign at the front. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, makes sense. Uh, will only yeah. go as fast as the wind will let it. Um, so there's only a certain speed in which you can get that uh, that, um, that generator yeah. to spin. You know, what I think so nice about the wind turbine, whereas the solar panel, you look at solar panel, you don't know if it's working or not. Yeah. Wind turbine, which we've got, you know, we put up, you see it spinning, and you know, yeah. you know, it's that instant kind of. It must be doing something. Yeah. Oh. Uh, we have a wind turbine. And, um, the charger is now working properly. Yeah. So all we notice is that it was going fairly fast for us. Yeah. And we've only seen 15 watts at 0 0.2 amps. And yeah. We we're wondering how many. What is the RPM that it needs to go to actually reach the the, the limit that it says to 160 watts? Well, 160 watts. You're going to be looking at around about 35, 40 mile an hour wind at that point. Direct wind. <laughs> Uh, and that's why we don't, yeah, we, 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 uh, and to be honest, that's why we've never rated our wind turbines by their maximum output, because you can go online and buy, you know, a 600 watt turbine, it, it will produce 600 watts 30 seconds before it destroys itself, yes. because it's in, you know, such high winds, or, or directly in a, in a, um, in a, wind, in a wind tunnel, yeah. um, and they're just not real wind conditions, so, sure. So if we say, if a customer comes to us and says, right, I've got this power requirement, I want to run this bit of kit in the middle of nowhere, we'll do the solar side of it, yeah, no problem, and we'll add a wind turbine. We would base that wind turbine to produce around about, and we always be fairly conservative, around about 20 amper hours per day okay. into that battery bank. Okay, okay, at 12 volt. At 12 volt. Cool, all right. Now that would be on a four to six meter tower, Okay. Uh, nothing around it, no trees, you know, if it's on a building, if it's on a shed, if it's on a barn or something, you want to get it a good two, three, four meters above the roof. Okay. Literally, the higher it is, the clearer the wind's going to be, the more you'll see. Okay. You're talking about like, so we're talking 0.2 of a kilowatt a day is roughly what you're, yeah? yeah? So roughly. Turbine. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we knew all about windings, knew all about magnets. He was basically approached by a friend of his, I think it was, who said, I've got an electric fence to keep cattle and I've got this battery that I have to change every two weeks and you know and it's just a pain in the butt to do and it's heavy and whatever so he developed a wind turbine to charge that battery for electric fencing and that's where it started uh, so the first few years they were used for electric fencing and then quite early on somebody probably with a yacht said well I've got a 12 volt battery that's you know and I'm, I'm in a marina or I'm out sailing uh, so there's an opportunity to, to, to use a wind turbine on my boat. So then the marine market came on and then from there it just sort of expanded and, and got wider and wider. Sort of expanded and, and got wider and wider.